Alright, it is November 20th, Friday. When I was over, I'm at... You see the car out there. When I walked in here the other day to come to the little pond, there's a couple sets of coy or coyote fox tracks coming right down this mulch road that he's building. I'm a little nervous being this close to the road. But this was a urine post, a natural one. So I put some red fox gland, fox urine, and I did a little bit of liquid mouse. And since it's all mulch, I couldn't use that to blend my set in. But there's lots of green grass and clumps of grass. So I did a little bit of grass over it. We'll see what happens. November 22nd. My first check day line going after mink and muskrat and I have three canine sets out. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just got my first fox. This trap's like 75 yards off the road. And I seen fox tracks in the snow when I scouted it. There he is. He was just bouncing. I'm not gonna film much. Well, November 22nd, it's a cold, it's dark now, started when the sun came up and just got done, got my two muskrats and fox hanging back there, got a coon today, and I did no video, well I did a little bit of video of the fox because it actually quit raining, but I'm sure you can hear it, it's been raining all day, but awesome day my first fox my first two muskrats november 23rd i believe this is going to be my second check day and i got a paw somewhere i caught the fox yesterday got back to the big pond and got me a rat on this muskrat mound there's one of the traps i caught one in yesterday nothing in it today but I set another trap over there because they had a little feeding pad off of the feed hut. Got a big one there. My second day trapping them and I've got four so far. And I probably still have 20 plus traps to check. This is actually like a beaver trail and there's a bank down there. But there's this really small channel off to the right here. And there was tons. This wasn't water two days ago. We've had a ton of rain. And there was tons of mink poop. Or mink poop. Rat poop. So I set a 110 here. And I got my first catch ever in a 110. Awesome. Perfect head catch. And I didn't bring my setters. But I think I'm man enough to set a 110. But I got down here in these mounds. And I mean, you can see they have like little highways going across all these mounds. And I think I have three or four traps here. And I connected on a big old rat. And there's the big boy I just got. And he was, I don't know how well. Yeah, you can see my trap. The water was literally like four or five inches lower the last couple days. That's like a muskrat highway right there. Awesome. Four rats on the big pond. And a possum. That's the little crick set. I think I have five traps here, but the cricks rose probably five inches. And again, you can see my trap right there. Set off, nothing in it. Same thing happened yesterday, only it was clear out in the middle of the crick. So I was pissed. I set tons of traps and I set a 110 right here and had these rocks set up making a tunnel and I got my first mink. Just checked, I don't know, probably seven to 10 traps with nothing in them. No fresh sign, no bubble trails under the ice. 
And I just got down here to the back of the pond and only have three traps left. And I got me a rat. That's right where I caught that huge rat yesterday. I'm back at Mink Creek. I've missed the mink here twice. And then I caught my first mink, a female, in that 110 I have right there. Funneled it on that undercut bank. And I have a hole right there that I've been putting fish in. I got raided twice. I put muskrat in it yesterday. And I got a huge buck mink. Well, it's not a big buck mink. It's a huge female. So I'm hoping there's still a big buck mink running around. I have one more mink trap on my way out. And I could smell skunk over there really bad. I'm kind of hoping I don't have a skunk. But let's go find out. Well, it's not a skunk. It's a huge coon. And he's all tangled up. Made it back to the fisher cubby. Looks like there's still a bunch of old meat in there. No tracks anywhere. But they come in Saturday. Today's Thursday. And beaver comes in. Well, there's my second fisher cubby in that hollow log. I have some sticks blocking off the back of it. When I was walking up here, I could see all these tracks everywhere. It's like, oh my gosh, maybe there's a fisher. Nope, all deer. 